Thank you so much for being Good here, be here, Bishop DiMarzio. I, I want to start first by saying we live in a society of headlines. A tragedy happens, we move on to the next headline. Right. You never forgot the people of Mexico. Well, you can't forget because uh, we did send some aid, the money that was collected in the parishes, and we wanted to go show our solidarity. So it isn't mm -hmm. like just sending money and forgetting, but you want to go there and be with the people, you know, think about them. And we had an interesting situation in Mexico because the two towns that we visited have many of their people here in yes. our diocese. So that's why we picked to go there. The money was given to the diocese itself and uh, it's distributed among all of the different uh, churches that were, were Set damaged. Set the stage for us, please, Bishop. What are, what, what are your impressions of, of the well, area so again, far? Well, it, again, it's uh, the remote areas when all is said and done. They mm -hmm. have huge churches. At one time, there must have been more population, or some of them were run by religious orders. Uh, today, there's just one priest in each town. Uh, in fact, one's got a, three or four towns he takes care of. But the people are there is somewhat older people. The mm -hmm. young people have migrated. That's why they're here in the United States. Mm -hmm. So there was um, one family that came from the United States to make sure that they were there when we arrived and uh, were kind of organizing things for us. So it was a great, great welcome. So warm. Uh, they greeted us at the entrance to the town with mm -hmm. the band, fireworks, <laughs> It's a confetti. humbling experience, isn't <laughs> it? It? <laughs> it really is a humbling experience. You know, Bishop, I, I, I want to ask you, what, what more needs to be done, if, if you can even sum that up in yeah. the time we have? Well, left? again, it, it's more money is always helpful, but we're going to try to organize the me Mexicans here to help their own towns. That we'll, we'll think we will do. But it's a question to keep a good open mind because people can have... Uh, fatigue after mm -hmm. they see so many different requests. But the point is we give what we can at right. the time to meet a particular need. So mm -hmm. we've got to keep our minds and hearts and wallets open. Okay, on a more personal note, Bishop, and you're probably going to kill me for saying <laughs> this, but I appreciate the fact that you went just to take care of business. You didn't need a media swarm behind <laughs> you. You didn't need people knowing that you were going in terms of publicity. Yeah, yeah. Was that by design or is that from the heart? No, I believe I think it was from the, the heart. that's the easiest way to work. It's very difficult to do the kind of pastor work you need if everybody's so with a camera. Obviously. Now, there were plenty of cameras. The people <laughs> had, oh, everybody has a cell phone. Cell believe phone, cameras, not. iPads. But uh, again, we, we felt that it was not necessary. We could explain what was being done. And, that was the purpose. And the church there, um, what is the spirit of the church there and the spirit well, very of the people? Help, very, very hopeful. We met with the Archbishop of the Diocese of Puebla, where this is the region we were in. And uh, no, it's very well organized. It's, you know, it's a provincial town, but very well. Uh, now it's becoming a tourist attraction. Beautiful mm -hmm. churches, beautiful old uh, provincial uh, buildings, which are worth seeing. So it was a good, uh, you know, mission in that sense. Mm -hmm. You mentioned that um, there are connections between our diocese yes. and the people there. Do you think that they felt that you were kind of a bridge, a link? Did they see you well, that way? Well, they did. They did. And there was, you know, constant back and forth, people telephoning that he's here, mm -hmm. you know, uh, people that knew us. Uh, you know, so it was, uh, it was the links around the world that the diocese of Brooklyn has are second to none. <laughs> if you had one last thing to say in the 30 seconds we have, how we contact anyone just to give our assistance, our support, and our prayers? Well, uh, you could contact the diocese. Father Ortiz is in charge of the, as the Mexican Apostolate, mm -hmm. and they're the ones that will be organizing in the future uh, some events that will give more help to the area. All right, Bishop, thank you so much. Um, I really am proud of the work that you do, okay, and uh, you. I appreciate it. And thank you for joining us. Okay, good to be time. here today.